This is time for a look back at some more of my packaging and collectibles. This is one of several videos. Uh, do check the others out on the channel if you haven't done so already. Now, today's video for our first item, we're going to have to go back to 1999 because it is indeed a pencil case commemorating the 2000 millennium. You see, you've got the 23, 59, and 59 seconds clock there counting down uh, with the tagline be ready for a world change yes because there was a lot of hype over the um, start of the new millennium changing from 1999 to 2000 because um, it was thought that um, a lot of computers wouldn't work properly come the 1st of January uh, 2000 Something to do, I believe, with internal uh, clocks of computers. Uh, the year is represented by um, just uh, two digits, and I think they thought when it switched from 99 to, two uh, to you know, double zero, um, the computer would think it was 1900 and, and things would stop working. There's things like, oh, planes are going to fall out of the sky, Business aren't, businesses aren't going to be able to operate properly, and all this sort of stuff. And there's a big marketing campaign about it. Um, I've got a leaflet somewhere, um, which was um, basically just saying, be ready for the millennium, millennium bug, as they call it. Uh, be ready for that change. And actually, uh, as it goes, nothing really happened. Just a few older computers didn't work properly. And uh, yeah, uh, it wasn't as they were making out so um, indeed we were ready for the change but it wasn't what they thought so we put that there as a reminder now the next item is this uh, whiskey selection this is from about five years ago um, and it's uh, from Marks and Spencer it's in a really nice wooden case and um, see on the back uh, you've got a single malt whiskey, an eight year old aged Irish malt whiskey, special reserve, and another uh, Irish whiskey there as well. Now, um, I do like the little bottles, and I like the whiskey as well. It's a nice little collection, a nice wooden case. Now, this next one are these monkeys in cars. Now, these um, were given away with um, boxes of PG tips um, and it's to celebrate the 40th uh, anniversary, you can just make that out on the uh, car there, um, of the PG tips adverts uh, with the monkeys. And if you've never seen any of them, uh, check them out on YouTube, I think there's quite a lot on there. Because um, the adverts run for over 40 years, starting in 1956. And this is to celebrate 40 years to 1996, so that's when these were released. Um, and we've got two here. This one's got Pierre in there. They all had names. The uh, monkeys. And this one is Kevin. Um, and they're friction cars. And at the front and back, they've got a little clip that when you pull it back and it hits something it would then flip back like that so they're a good um, anniversary item as well as a good toy to play with and um, it was a really funny uh, advert campaign. They got to uh, different things in the adverts. So, like I said, do check them out. Um, and we will put Kevin and Pierre there. Now, our next one is this uh, Froob's pencil case. So, I've got quite a few pencil cases. Uh, I've shown some in my previous videos and I'll show a few more in this one. Um, it's got the Petit Fillou logo and the Froobs logo also with some peaches on there. Um, and this is from the 90s. And um, 
bits are nice. Uh, some of them were where the zip opened at the top. This is one where it opened in the middle. Um, and they're still doing quite a few now. Like I've seen Pringles ones and uh, drinks ones were the common ones. And you did get a few metal ones as well. I remember a Pepsi uh, metal one as well. So let's put him there. Now our next one is this little um, tin. I got this from a seaside place, I believe. Um, it had sweets in it. Um, it's from 2004 and it's in the design of a shop. And it's got like retro sweets on it. And a nice uh, little design there. And a nice little tin. Now carrying on with uh, sweets. This one features a skull and crossbones on it, but not any skull and crossbones because on the reverse you've got Johnny Depp in his character it's Jack Sparrow from the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, at World's End film. Um, you see uh, the logo on there from Disney of course, um, which you know what Disney don't own this day. Uh, today, you know, seem to have bought up quite a lot of stuff, and there you see Johnny Depp in these lovely pose there, and it had a zip on it, so it could just open up like that. Now we've got a puzzling one on the next one because it is indeed a puzzle, a Pepsi puzzle. Uh, in the style of a can, Diet Pepsi because of the colours, um, and it's based on one of those um, square puzzles you'd often get with like uh, eight square, well nine squares, and you had eight puzzle pieces to move around to make a picture. You got bigger ones as well, so this is based on that, and you just slide them around. In this case, to make the Pepsi logo. Uh, and this was from the 90s time, like I've said many times before, when we had a lot of innovative stuff like this. Um, I imagine if you had to send away for something like this, I really can't remember. Um, it makes it more of a challenge being it on a um, sort of round like that rather than a, a flat surface. Now, moving on to our next one, and we have this fella called Stanley, or Stan as he was often known. Now, like the PG Tips uh, monkeys, um, we also have um, for Tetley, they had the Tetley gang. This is Stanley or Stan as he was often known in the adverts. And um, you had other characters as well, and they were usually drawn as cartoons as opposed to the PG Tip monkeys that were actually real uh, monkeys. Um, and these guys were filmed in like scenarios and owners often like, you know, have a cup of tech later, you know, sort of calm the situation or whatever it was. And he's got his white uh, coat on with his hat um, and also his big nose. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I don't know if the uh, adverts still go now, I'm not, I'm not too sure, but uh, they definitely went for a long time. Um, and this plush is from 1996. So, there you go, Stanley. You can stand there. Now, this next one is back to Pepsi. Pepsi Pepsi Junior Gunners uh, case. Um, open it up, and then you can put things in it. And I'm not sure when this one is from. Um, and it's Gunners, so that's uh, Arsenal, isn't it? <laughs> if I was shouting at me, if I get that wrong, but I'm sure that's correct. So I'm guessing it was to promote some uh, young football. Uh, Team uh, Junior and Junior Gunners, um, and it's got the uh, famous Pepsi logo on the top. 
which Pepsi logo has changed quite a bit over the years, so maybe that's a video I'll do sometime, whereas Coca-Cola logo hasn't really changed that much. Uh, now, uh, moving on to our next one, um, and we have Rubik's Cubes, but not any old Rubik's Cubes, because these are Walker's Rubik's Cubes. Now, um, let's start off with this one first. Now you've got all sort of the, uh, the Walker's brands on there. Um, you've got Monster Munch. Uh, you've got Quavers there. You've got French Fries. Interesting enough, you've got Cheetos. Now, um, these were from the 90s. Now, it's got the Walker's Sun logo um, on it, which is there which means it's got to be from uh, after 1998 because that's when they used that logo um, although it's got the old sort of typeface uh, so I reckon that's uh, around about that time now Cheetos of course disappeared from the UK in the 90s um, if you see my video on uh, discontinued brands do talk a bit about that and of course Cheetos are making a comeback now in the UK um, like a lot of things so and it just works like a normal Rubik's Cube you just move them around uh, and rather than colours of the Rubik's Cube you just uh, line up the different brands and then this other one we've got it's got Walker's brands on it as well, but it's more of a football themed one because you've got their uh, Gary Lineker, Salt and Lineker, and you've also got up there, camera's trying to pick up the faces, uh, you've got Cheese and Owen from Michael Owen, and I think they did actually change the crisp packets at the time um, for the uh, footballers. And you see, you've got some footballs on there as well. And that's very appropriate uh, one for um, with the uh, Euros going on at the moment uh, and the time of recording this video England doing really well so that's good and again you just uh, match up all the uh, shapes the crisps the logos okay so Uh, we've got another Tetley one now, and it's Stanley back again, but in key ring form this time, and this is actually still in the packet. Uh, and this one is from 1995, and it looks like he's holding some cakes there. And yes, nice little key ring. And now we have um, a more recent one. And it is this Frosty's bowl. If you've seen uh, my previous video, I showed some of these other bowls. They're sort of a big thing at the moment. Um, I got this one recently. And um, you've got like a box of cereal in the top. Um, and you get them often a lot in B&M uh, here in the UK. Um, I say you get a bowl as well. Tony the Tiger on it. Um, and like I say, there were quite a few done, not just cereal, but also uh, and those other. Um, I've seen one with um, birds custard as well, so you get a box of custard with a bowl. Okay, that's that one. And now we move on to a, a tin from this is a Twinings tin, it had tea in it originally. Uh, 250 grams and it's uh, Bermont and a lemon I'm not a fan of flavoured tea um, I prefer my PG tips uh, sorry Stanley um, but what I like about this tin is the where you got the teapot and the cups coming off the uh, plant which is uh, a good design and the pattern just goes all the way around and you know it's a nice tin you can use as storage if you want after and I imagine it would have had a couple of boxes of tea in there 
And of course twinings do a lot of different flavours of tea. Now another bowl, another one I've got recently, this is a Shreddies one, so you've got a box of Shreddies in the top. The original Shreddies. Well, what's interesting is they've now bought out Shreddies, um, I think it's called like the Simple one or something, and it says just four ingredients. But I thought original Shreddies only had a few ingredients anyway, and it won until you got to the Cocoa Shreddies and the um, Frosty Shreddies that you really got, uh, you know, more ingredients than that. So I'm not sure how they differ. It's got the famous Shreddies logo on there. Now this next one, um, I'm not sure the date of this one. There it is, have a break, have a Kit Kat. Your Kit Kat mouse. Um, yes, now I might be wrong, someone can correct me. But I'm sure you that you got this in um, an Easter egg. Um, as often you get cups with easter eggs um, but I'm sure that this came with an easter egg, it's got a trackball on the bottom and the two uh, classic buttons and the famous Kit Kat logo which hasn't really changed uh, that much either and obviously as well as a great collectible and a novelty obviously it can actually function as well as a mouse if you've got the right uh, connector for it. Now, uh, again, if you've seen one of my previous videos, you know that I featured a Rivena uh, radio in the Rivena carton uh, form. This is uh, a Rivena money box. So you've got the slot at the top, and that just comes out so you can get your uh, money out. What I like about it is that the attention to detail, they've made, they put all the detail uh, as if it was a Ribena carton, which makes it more authentic. Um, and it's just in a nice plastic case. And that's a nice little novelty. I think I bought this one and the radio at the same time from a car boot sale. Um, and uh, I say it's sometime in the 90s. Now, another pencil case now. And this one is Fanta with the famous Fanta logo on it. Um, and these are from uh, Helix, made by Helix. I think they had the license for the uh, branded pencil cases. Um, as often as the case, one company gets a license uh, for most of the stuff. Now, a lot of these. Um, which I bought around about 2000 I think um, there was a stationery shop in the UK called Stationery Box and that's where I got a lot of them from I think it was bought out by Ryman's it was a nice little stationery shop and uh, I say I bought quite a few of these um, and um, we've also got Coca-Cola one as well with the famous Coca-Cola logo on it and like the phantom one, it unzips uh, at the top. Now a few more now, and this next one. Um, it's a Radion Colour uh, washing powder tin. Now it had um, a 2 kilogram eco storage bag inside. Um, and the idea was you bought the eco bags to put in the tin uh, so that you could make use of the tin as it shows with the money box pig there, save some money um, you'll never need to buy another box again so you save money and save waste time after time and for people not aware of Radion uh, washing powder um, it was axed in 1999, I'm not sure when it was first uh, first came about. Um, now they wanted to promote the surf brand, which I remember they did round about the time. I'm not sure if these adverts were from a similar time, but I do remember the surf adverts with Pauline Quirk and Linda Robertson from uh, Birds of Feather. And... Um, 
Yeah, so they did promote Surf, but ironically, Surf is not that big nowadays. It's more Purcell, Bold, and Fairy. Um, and of course, even, uh, you know, washing powder isn't so much of a big thing. Now it's more the uh, liquid tabs. Um, and it's very, a very colourful uh, sort of rainbow design. But I'm sure towards the end of its life, it went to the just being orange. Um, an orange sort of box um, but again that's a container to use to store a lot of um, stuff in there and I would say it's actually from like late 80s early 90s because it's got very sort of you know old design on it there now moving on to um, this little tin here um, it's a Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles tin with um, Raphael uh, on it with his stick. It's probably got a proper name for it, but um, that's what we call it for now. And the Turtles logo. And it was in the UK, it was Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, whereas in America it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think in the UK they didn't want the ninja uh, word in the title. Um, and this tin is from 1989, I believe it had sweets and there's no label on the back. Um, or it might have just been a collector's tin, uh, you know, sort of Turtles merchandise. I always enjoyed the Turtles cartoon and of course there's been quite a few films uh, in the past few years on the uh, Turtles. Now, this last one. is a Guinness hat and now this was uh, to promote St. Patrick's Day in 2002 and it's got a nice uh, black and white design of course in the uh, design of a Guinness pint with the white head on top and uh, the Guinness logo and then on the bottom you've got um, green for uh, four leaf clover um, and that would be a nice fun hat to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, little look back. And now, like I say, there's more videos on my channel. Um, if you want to check them out. And uh, let me know uh, what you think about these items. If you have any of them. If you have any similar ones. If you uh, have any others. I'd be very interested uh, to see. I will put these... Uh, pictures of them on my Pinterest. I'll put the link in the uh, description for that. And uh, like I said, do check out the other videos. And thank you for watching. And uh, please like the video so other people can see it. And uh, uh, please subscribe and ring that bell for notification because there'll be more videos like this as well as other videos as well around what I do on my channel. And uh, thank you to everyone that has subscribed. Much appreciated. Uh, and I'll see you again very soon. Say bye, Stanley.